you guys good morning Liliana from vanilla and canela here welcome back to my channel to another video how are you all doing today is the 30th of December time has flown by I hope you had the best Christmas ever I hope you got to spend time with the ones you love and you ate good food and you had some nice presents yada 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 you guys know how it goes so um, we had the most lovely chilled out Christmas as you guys know um, our friend Jill was here with us she actually left yesterday morning and uh, so she was here for a full week we miss you already Jill come back um, so yeah it was she was here and I actually she arrived on the 22nd I think I filmed for you guys on the 23rd and I showed you what she brought us and me and her went shopping for the food for Christmas so this morning I went shopping for, you know, because it's been a week. So I always go on a Saturday morning, you guys know that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you in a minute everything that I got, but I thought I filmed a tiny little bit throughout Christmas, not a lot at all. So there isn't enough to make a video out of it. So I'm just gonna insert it, little bits of it whilst I'm talking to you. But yeah, we, um, Christmas morning, Oh, actually, um, Christmas Eve's Eve, so the 23rd and the 24th, um, Jill and I and Paul spend time like wrapping all the presents, taking turns and wrapping presents. It was, it, you know, it all added to the uh, excitement of Christmas. It was really nice. And then on Christmas Day, we got up at like eight o'clock. The boys have been sleeping in late, going to bed late, waking up late but it's been lovely because normally we're up usually the late at six o'clock so it's been nice so we didn't get up until eight which was lush we came downstairs made coffees and and um, tea for Jill and we just sat on the sofa opening the presents and spending time you know we had breakfast we always have pan of chocolate for breakfast so we had another coffee with it Alex had a cup of tea Jill had a black coffee I think it was yeah and then we just chilled out usually I make lunch for 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock say the latest that was not the case this year we were just chilling out and we put on some um, um, Christmas music and we were just sitting on the sofa all playing with toys with the boys and just chilling out and having a good time playing games all of that so dinner didn't end up being served until it was like 7 p.m and oh my gosh we've made a resolution that we are not going to be doing that again so um first of all this cooker was awful awful the oven cooking all that stuff because it's a massive oven I put everything in at different stages but obviously towards the end it was rammed and I don't know if the heat was just not spreading my Yorkshire puddings were an absolute I don't want to be doing all of that cooking on Christmas Day it was too much I ended up spending like four five hours in the kitchen Jill was here helping me but the Aussie loves running into the kitchen and it can get quite dangerous you know with the cooker on so I had to close the door that leads on to the kitchen and it's really isolating we were in here for hours like peeling and all of that and not enjoying Christmas I don't want to do that so we'll have to come up with a better idea for next year prep it as much as possible whatever but yeah that did not work out for me with that being said dinner turned out so delicious amazingly delicious so we were stuffed after that but you guys the best thing we did was i saw this thing on tiktok which is the christmas dinner pie leftover pie it's not just christmas dinner it's basically sunday roast dinner leftover pie and all you do is you take an oven proof dish and you put all your leftovers in that includes um, the potatoes all the different veg so we had like honey roasted veg so that was the added as like a sweetness to it um, we had some broccoli added that in um, what else we had stuffing I did not put meat because you guys know that Jill doesn't eat meat so I just warmed the meat on the side and we added it to the dish but you can add your meat to your, like, um, you know, the, the little sausages wrapped in bacon, your turkey, 
chicken for us, all of that. You can add that and then you put gravy over the top, not, not loads and loads, just a bit of gravy. Um, usually if you have leftover, perfect. And then um, the next day when you're ready to cook it, pop it in the fridge overnight, covered it in with aluminium foil or something, right? And the next day, take it out, um, preheat your oven as normal, cover that with short crust pastry, make, you know, little um, holes so it can get out the air, egg wash it, pop it in the oven, and oh my God, serve with more vegetables. We served ours with a, like a, a broccoli, um, cheese sauce thing that we had uh, but I saw people serving it with mash on the side and then more gravy it was incredible I really really recommend that try that out so that was nice um, we also took chill out show a little bit more of the sights I mean we went to the beach when she first got here but then after Christmas we just took her for a little drive and showed her around yeah and that's been it oh guys I almost forgot so we um for desserts we had a pecan pie that I got from the American base but also then I did some pandora um which is you know very traditional at Christmas you either have the panettone um which is you know like um cakey i'll put a picture of it here or something but everyone knows what a panettone is or you can have pandoro which is plain cake um, and you dust it with sugar but i also saw that you can make this sauce to go on top of it i will put the recipe below i'll let you know now that it was outstanding incredible it changed the pandoro for being a very plain cake to out of this world. It is made with raw eggs, so if your eggs are not um, vaccinated, not the eggs vaccinated, but the chickens are not vaccinated and all that, you know, you've got to be careful. I know that in the UK and the rest of Europe, um, they vaccinate the chickens against salmonella and all of that jazz, so it is safe. Um, but I know there's other countries that might not be safe. So, or if you're using eggs from a chicken net and you don't know if that chicken's had a vaccine, you've got to be careful. But it is a thing in Italy. Again, I saw it on TikTok. So again, I'll link the recipe that I used. It was out of this world and for sure we'll be repeating that for sure. So yeah. <sighs> now that I've updated you on all of that, let me show you what I got today at the shops. You guys, before I show you the whole, I just wanted to show you this. How beautiful is this bottle? Asti. So it's like sweet, fizzy drink that Paul and I love. I don't know if you guys remember the on, in the Christmas haul, I had Moscato, which is also a sweet wine. And that bottle, it cost... It's either two ninety nine or three ninety nine. I'm sure I put it on the screen. It was incredible. They did not have any today, so I got this. Right, look at that bottle. Five ninety nine. The wine or fizzy stuff here is so affordable. It's the same way in Portugal. So I got another bottle for the new year for Paul and I. So yeah, I got that. But now let me show you. What else? Okay, so we got some carrots. I got these um, sort of baguette batons thing. I also went to uh, the baker's and I just got fresh donuts or graffa, how they call them here. So just got some of those. I got the panna cotta. I also got some lychees for Alex, who is a fan. Uh, it's the first time I've seen them here. And then I got some of these yogurts. I got some for Jill and I've tried them before and they're really lovely. This one's a pomegranate and then I've got two strawberries, two courgettes, little thing of broccoli. Also got some passion fruit. I'm here for that. And I did go and get the expensive pineapple. I just love it. Um, mozzarella. I showed you this. I also got this bechamel sauce and panna, so cream. This, you guys, is so easy. I made 
um, I cooked some broccoli on for Christmas Day and then covered it in this sauce and then just put some, I think it was grana padano cheese on, uh, on top and then just got it like in the oven. It was so, so good. Easy, super easy. And then got some pan chocolat, some wipes here, got some vegetable stock. This is really handy. Uh, I used some this week to make rice, I think. It's delicious. Some um, almond milk, coffee. I'll show you this in a minute. I went to uh, the drugstore, I think they call it here. And then two things. This is the um, four, uh, what they call, umido. Uh, so like the kitchen waste, and this is normal waste. I also got uh, air freshener. Then some of the juices that we love. Of course, some granola. I got some of this, um, these tortilla chips, normal crisps for Alex. Also got some cookies for Alex and got the plum cake, as I call it, it's yogurt cake. Brioche, I got some milk, eggs and iced tea. And I also got some candles, look, it says, 100% natural. Um, this one is Fiori Fresca, so fresh flowers, I think, and Arancia Orange. I have no idea. I probably paid ridiculous. It didn't have a price. This was just from the supermarket, so I'll, I'll put it on the screen how much I paid. And then I got, oh gosh, it's not focusing very well. Sorry, guys. Some toilet paper. Sorry, I forgot to show you in the fridge. I'd already put it in the fridge. Got some hummus. It's the first time I've never tried hummus here. And I also got this gambaroni di surumi. I think these are like some sort of seafood anyway. Got those. And then I'll just show you as well. I only got a couple of things for the freezer. I got kebab meat, which is incredible. It's not like the UK kebab meat. It's like basically really thin sliced pork. And I also got these like waffle chips okay, now let me show you what i picked up at the drugstore as i call it and um, i got some towels sanitary towels uh, as well as some tampons i also got some hair dye and sponges they're like my secret love a sponge you guys know that got two types Oh, I just realized they're the same shape, but different. Um, what else? I got some washing up, washing up liquid. I like this brand and it doesn't irritate my hands too bad. And then I got some of this cream for my feet, Glycemile. There, this was like four euros fifty. Um, this has urea. Uh, which um, is recommended if you've got like calluses and things like that this is really good it's the equivalent in the UK which I used to buy all the time what is it called I'll put it on the screen it will come to me um, I think it's the equivalent so I'm going to try it out and let you know if it's any good and then finally I got some air freshener now I got a little bottle last time this is expensive it's like almost nine euros 8.95 yeah so it's expensive but it smells so good i got the little one um which is ideal to like put because it's also it's not just air freshener it's like clothe it's like febreze but italian made yeah this look they put here for sofas cars curtains clothes you know so you can use it It just, it smells so, so good. So I just got a big one now and I'll keep the little one. The little one's literally like this, but it's a, I actually have a different scent, but this is also nice. So anyway, I spent there 27.90. If you think that's nine euros almost. So yeah, now I am done. You guys, all this left for me to say is I hope 2023 was a good year for you but if it wasn't you're at the back end of it 
2024 is going to be your year. I hope it's mine too. I hope you guys have a good start of the year and I'll see you next year. Yeah. Thank you as always for all your support throughout this crazy time. Wow. Um, this year that we've had, I really appreciate you being here and waiting for me when I wasn't around. So thank you from with all my heart. I appreciate you supporting me. Have a good one. I will see you next year.